sweet flag is a perennial herb, and it's got many medicinal values. It's been used in Indian Ayurvedic medicine and in Greek medicine throughout history. Sweet flag can give instant relief for stomach problems. It clears a swollen and uncomfortable stomach, and it also leaves a headache related to weak digestion. It clears flatulence and colic and can increase the appetite. The root is burned and it's ground into a paste with coconut oil, and this is then applied to the stomach in the case of pain. It's also found to be useful for treating anorexia, gastritis and gastric ulcers. The root can stimulate blood circulation, and this is useful if you have a pain or a swelling related to rheumatism, arthritis or gout. Chewing the sweet flag root can create a dislike for the taste of tobacco, so it makes it helpful for people who are trying to quit smoking. Sweet flag is used to treat mouth ulcers, bad odours, coatings and rawness of the tongue caused by inflammation. A small piece of the sweet flag can be rubbed onto the tongue. Ayurveda considers it an anaesthetic for toothache. The aroma of sweet flag is able to give a calming sensation and it can be useful for treating insomnia. The sedative effect can help you relax and can help you get a good night's sleep. The root is used to increase appetite and also to help lowering the acidity in the stomach. Along with a decoction of licorice root, it has a positive impact upon cough, fever and colic in children. For a dry cough, one should chew the root. When a small piece of the sweet flag is chewed for a few minutes, it gives relief from a sore throat. A paste of sweet flag can be applied externally for skin disorders like eczema, ringworm and scabies. It's also used as a disinfectant for a vaginal infection. It can be effective against asthma and chronic bronchitis. It's recommended to take two glasses of a sweet flag tea. The herb is a bronchodilator and it acts as a chest decongestant. For impotence, sweet flag is often mixed with ashwagandha and piper longum and datura seeds. The sweet flag is able to prevent infections both internally and externally and it's used as a natural antibiotic. According to several sources, sweet flag root is able to boost memory, particularly for people who are experiencing brain injury or who have lost memory due to aging or trauma. Sweet flag is very effective for treating intestinal worms. The powder can be given in the morning and the evening to help clear the intestines. A small piece of sweet flag is traditionally ground into a paste and this warm paste is then applied to painful areas. It can relieve pain in the case of joint pain, arthritis and even piles. Equal portions of asafoetida, haritaki, black salt, dry ginger, long pepper and black pepper are mixed with sweet flag for a treatment for epilepsy and mental health disorders. Preparations made from the rhizome are used to promote urinary flow, to relieve constipation and cleanse impurities from the body. The stewed rhizome is given for fever, coughs and poisoning. A mixture of the rhizome that's been roasted until charred and added to oil is applied topically to ease stomach aches and bloating. A mixture of the rhizome with cashew oil is used to rub on swollen joints to relieve sore muscle pains. It's also used for hemorrhoids, in warm milk for a sore throat, to reduce fever and to expel worms. Traditionally, a mixture of the rhizome powder with dried ginger and honey is taken for partial paralysis of the mouth, chin and neck. A mixture of the rhizome powder with honey is licked as a treatment for epilepsy. It's widely used in modern herbal medicine as an aromatic stimulant and a mild tonic. It's highly valued as a rejuvenator for the brain and the nervous system and as a remedy for digestive disorders in Ayurveda. The root is an aphrodisiac, aromatic, carminative, diaphoretic, emenagogue, expectorant, hallucinogen, hypotensive, sedative, stimulant 
and mildly tonic and vermifuge. It has tonifying powers of stimulating and normalizing the appetite. In small doses, it decreases stomach acidity, while in larger doses, it increases stomach secretions. Therefore, it's suggested in the treatment of anorexia nervosa. It's used externally to treat skin eruptions, rheumatic pains and neuralgia, and internally for digestive complaints, bronchitis and sinusitis. An infusion of the root can bring on an abortion. Chewing the root alleviates toothache. It's a folk remedy for arthritis, cancer, convulsions, diarrhea, dyspepsia and epilepsy. It's used in the treatment of flatulence, dyspepsia, anorexia and disorders of the gallbladder. The dried root is chewed to clear the voice. It's effective for stomach pain and diarrhea. The powdered root helps to heal wounds faster. It activates the speech centre of the brain. It's beneficial in treating speech disorders which might have occurred due to paralysis. It's used for treating schizophrenia, anxiety, depression and epilepsy. It enhances memory and the learning process. It's useful for treating throat disorders, including a sore throat, hoarseness, strep throat, and the symptoms associated with it. It improves the pitch and the quality of the voice. It works as an expectorant. It liquefies phlegm and expels it out of the body. It's used as a cure for whooping cough, especially in children. It's useful in relieving pain associated with fever. It's used in the treatment of various cancers, such as lung, breast and liver cancer. The herb is used in the treatment of hypothyroidism. It's effective in treating swellings. It's effective for treating obesity. When it's used with you, it helps to cure asthma. It provides relief from mouth ulcers. It can relieve syphilis and treat piles. For more on herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.